While Leroy is putting the truck away, it's a good time to let you guys know that there will be a giveaway at the end of this video and you'll find out exactly how to win the giveaway. It's gonna be a brand new, unopened mystery tackle box, which by the way, thank you mystery tackle box for making this video possible. And then also shopcarls.com. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Hook to Cook, he's a Central Coast surf fisherman. Hook to Cook will commence. <laughs> Let's start this off. Why are there four mystery tackle boxes? Well, the reason is because the saltwater bite has been so good that he, these have just been stacking up at the house. Uh, so we got three. Two boxes are unopened and then one box is opened. And we'll let Bob pick which box is the one that he wants to go through. And then whichever one he doesn't pick, gets to go home with one of you guys. But if you guys don't know what mixed street tackle box is, is they'll put a, a mix of different baits that you can use. Uh, it'll challenge you in terms of letting you try different things, different approaches. But anyway, let's let Bob pick which one. Pick that one. Oh, okay. On the floor, the one on the floor. The one on the floor. Let's do it. Let's see what's in here. But ultimately, he could fish whatever he wants. Oh, okay. Start off with a Weston square bill. That would be nice. Got a little Excite Baits swim jig. Perfect. We got a shaky head with these worms. Bio spawn. Okay, it's got a little tail on it. Sweet. But with all of these, you start getting these papers that show you what you got in there. So we got a Guggen Squad blooper here somewhere. Ooh, it's black. What is that? It's a popper. Oh, I could probably start with that. Sweet. And then, ooh, these, look at this. We got some soft plastics. These are uh, Semantis Baits. We'll give that a shot. But anyway, this box is open for us to use. And then actually, let's open up that other, the one that's already opened as well. I've already looked at this, another swim bait or a swim jig. Bruiser bait. Oh, these are nice little creatures that uh, I think would go as great trailers. Blitz lures, uh, popping frog. It's got a square bill in there. And it has a uh, another square bill by Lucky Craft. So. Those are all available for us to use today. And then one last thing too is same company, but they own shopcarls.com and you could actually start picking out things that maybe you got in a previous mystery tackle box that you might like that you can order more specifically. And I went ahead and I picked up some worm weights and then I also picked up these gridiron football jigs. So I'm going to start with this see if I can't get anything. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gridiron football jigs that I got at shopcarls.com and then I will grab this. I'm gonna start with this Bruiser Baits as a trailer. Didn't even tie it on yet, but let's go. And again, this one is completely unopened. So it's gonna go to somebody for the giveaway at the end of the video. But yeah, out of all the baits that you guys saw in those boxes that we just opened, leave it in the comments what you guys would have, would start with. We just know that they've been on a really good jig bite, so we're kind of going for what's been working. <laughs> Share the front with Bob. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys do that. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try that popper. You're gonna try the popper? You want, he wants top water. Which oh. popper? The one that you got tied on already? No, I'm gonna try the one that came in the box. Oh, you're gonna try the one that came in the box? Yeah. Heck yeah. Right here. We're gonna go with this right here. The blooper Go Guggen. Right out of the box. See if we can get this one knocked off the list. It's got a nice little feather on the end. I like that. I like the feather. Nice chartreuse feather. All right, Holmes. All right. Let me top water it up. Bob's gonna top water it up. Figure if you're gonna knock this one off the list, you better be first thing in the morning. That's true. I agree. Oh, I missed one, I missed one. Yeah, he took the claw off straight up. Well, that was pretty easy to tear. Hopefully all these baits aren't like that. But he said he caught nothing. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. <laughs> Dang it. Nice. 
There he is. Got him? I got him. Nice! I got him. I got him. I got him. On the top, we were just talking about it. On the top water? Yeah. Got him. Nice one, Bob. Off the bucket list, baby. On the blooper. Ooh, it's a nice one. Nice one, Bob. Got the blooper out of the way. Got that one out of the way. Nice. Good call. Doing it in the morning. Get it done with For, it in the morning. Yep. The later it gets, the tougher that bite gets. Yeah. And they're not really on a hard top water bite, so I'm not going to stick with it. If it was getting a lot of blow ups, I would continue throwing it all morning. But it's a pretty, it's a grind to get it. So we'll move on to the next one. Let's take one more look at that bait. It's the Guggen Squad blooper. That little chartreuse hook was the key. So next, Bob's throwing on a chartreuse square bill. Is that what that is? Yeah, the fast bite square bill. This is what he's got on. The Weston. This yeah, one's this this is floating. The 1.5. Yeah, this is a good size for sure. Oh, got one. Good one, good one. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, oh came you, off. Can you not like, get that in my face? My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, bud, sorry. Hey, 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 hey. he was fresh. All right. Ooh, they're warm, warm fish. Yeah, they're super warm. Dude, got him super shallow too. So, so we knocked the trailer off the list? Yeah, we got the trailer off the list. Um, I would give it, if I were to rate the trailer, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably give it a six out of 10. Uh, durability, I mean, I, I only caught one fish and I tore up two baits, arms came off, but I mean, it worked. And then the gridiron, gridiron had a solid hook set on her. That was nice. So I'm gonna try something else, guys, something that I don't usually do, but since they're eat, they ate this, um, I'm gonna try something else. In this box, we have these. So the last one was this the Breezer Baits. Um, again, I'm giving this a six out of 10 just cause they're not very durable. But I mean, if you're not really around fish and I mean, you could fish this until you get a bite, but the bite just ripped the claws off super easy. So we're gonna try these uh, Semantis Baits next. But I'll show you how I'm gonna rig it. I'm gonna rig it a little bit different, not a not a football head. But as I mentioned, you could actually order your terminal tackle. And I got these half inch, half ounce weights. They're tungsten, so they're super small profile. And I also have three eighths. So I think I'm gonna go with the three eighths, just super light. Because we're not fishing deep at all. I like to go less than half an ounce if I'm fishing, you know, in five foot of water. So I'm gonna take one of these. And then in our mystery tackle box, we do have four wide gap hooks by Mustad. So we'll get one of these. And I also have hey, a bead and a, a bead Watch and this. a keeper. Look at this. What is yeah, it? Bob was going ahead and he was starting out his square bill with his treble still tied together, guys. Oh. You know, don't worry, you'll catch a lot of fish that way. I was like, why are these hooks already fouled? So I got these keepers. So I'm basically gonna peg this thing. I'm gonna start with the peg. Just put that on and go ahead and peg this. Okay, put the sinker on next. Put the bead on just so when it hits the hook, it makes a clicking sound and replicates that of a crawfish. And it also protects the knot as well. Just like that. and. Hear that? You can hear it clacking. That's what we want. And then we'll take the Samantis bait and we'll Texas rig it. Oh, that's perfect for the 4 out. So that'll be our rig. It's almost like a punching rig, but we'll give that a shot. That looks like it can get bit. Let's go. Got him? Got him? On the square bill? Of course, he says, of course. Oh, he came off. Oh. He shook me right now. Nice. That's a good sign. Oh. There he is. Bob, you're smashing. Hey, this guy's on fire. 
Yeah, keep them pinned this time. Keep them on, Bob. All right, number two, off the list, done. Jeez, Bob. He's a little guy, but he ate it. We got him to eat it. I definitely had a bigger one on back there on the point back there, but he shuck off right at the boat. I opened my mouth, my big mouth too soon. This was the Westin Bass Bite Square Bill. The color is the Bass Bite Square Bill Floating Chartreuse Blue Crawl. And it's the 1.5 guys, so. Had two fish on, definitely had a bigger one on earlier. We did get that little guy on it, but beautiful little square bait. Painted perfectly. Love the orange on the bottom, very sharp hooks. This one's done for the day, we're moving on to the next. I'd probably give this a, a 7.5 to an eight. It does run pretty true and, and does get the strike zone pretty good. Um, it, it, yeah, it's it's an eight in my book. Cool, it's yours, you can have it. All right, bro. Three out of that box. Yeah, three out of the box so far. Three, three lures down. I do like the paint job on this one. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Which one? The one this that you're one, just tying yeah. on right now? The top of it. That is nice. It's, it's pretty dope, dude. Which one is that? I, I don't know the name of this one. I didn't see in the box. There's nothing marked on it. Jayco CD2. Okay. <laughs> Did you get it? No. He bit it? He bit it. Yep. Took the arm off. Yeah, he sure did. Dang. It's just what happens when, see, this is a big appendage and then where the connection point to the actual bait isn't very big at all. And I guess you don't want it to be because then it would look super unnatural, but yeah. I guess it's just the nature of the nature of the beast. It's all part of the game. <laughs> he is a little spoiled, bro. He's the last yeah. two trips he knocked it out of him. Dude. Yeah. Like knocked out of him. He was him. sending oh, selfies like yeah. Vito. Like that, yeah, like that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Bait out. Yep, bait's done. Almost. We'll see. I got a good hook set on him. Yeah, baby. Yep. Give him a nose pierce. Why oh. use the hook and the bait from the box? Yeah, it's true. On that, pretty much pinned oh, got him. Texas rig. Oh. oh. And then Bob's got one that's too. A good, that's a good one, buddy. A good one? That's need the net? Yeah, I am. All right. Need net. I See you, bud. All right, we're crossing them off. This is this mystery tackle box is a good one. It's a good one. Uh, he's got me in wood. He's got me in wood. Keep it tight. He's got me in wood. The lure stopped and it went boom, 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 like hard, like big, deep pulls. And I, I cranked it about four or five times. Said I got a big one, and it ran, it ran right to the run right to that wood. Here's the bump cap, round ball, shaky head, quarter ounce. I'm gonna throw the uh, bio spawn oh, okay. right here. Okay. Put that on. It's got some scent. It's got the probably some anise. <laughs> yeah. It's got anise oil on it. So what you gotta do is it's a screw keeper. So we're gonna screw that on. There you go, bio spawn on a shaky head. We'll see how this does. Should do pretty good. I got some faith in it. They've been eating on the bottom. So with the shaky head, you just want to twitch your slack is all you want to do. Because that thing's going to sit on the bottom and just dance. That's what you want to do. It's a slow presentation, but we've been getting the fish on both slow and reaction bite. Bob's been getting a pretty good bite on the square bills, so that's been nice. Today's already 8.10 and they barely send me or, or it will, I put the order in on 8.3 for 8 whatever. Delay. There you go. Damn. And yeah, it's not a, yeah, it's, that was not On the bio day. spawn. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Pizza, so just take it back, bro. It's the uh, four uh, marinara sauce and the to go cup. They don't, they don't need them. Yeah, that was the one that busted. It. Don't drop it. Just take it back. That was a mistake. I don't know why it went on today's and you, route. That's a double too. Yeah, you not the lead head, yeah right? got the lead head with okay, the bio right. spawn. That was pretty fun. I liked it. It's been, you know what it is? Is I haven't caught a bass on a spinning setup in a while, but that was pretty good. On the bio spawn with that uh, shaky head. Sweet. Yeah, good. Yeah, man. That's good, man. I don't know, I want to throw it again, but uh, I kind of want to keep on going down the list. What do you think, Leroy? Good. Thank you.
I think one right, more bye. cast. One more cast. All right. All right. I'm going to do one more cast on it. I think we cleared out one box already. That was fast. There's some good baits in there. But you know what? I, I feel like I can rate this one already. I, I, I would definitely give this a seven or an eight. Uh, I caught a fish on it and it didn't tear it up. So I'm reusing the same one. And I mean, it's a quarter ounce. It's super easy to control, super easy to cast. Twitch the slack. Oh, there you go. Oh, I snapped off. I had one. <laughs> Oh, I'm so used to those big hard hook sets. As mentioned, the way that you win this box is first, you need to be subscribed to Papa Leroy's new channel. He just started, he has a cooking channel and we just uploaded his very first video, sous vide halibut. So go check that out. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And then the way that we're gonna do the giveaway of this brand new Mystery Tackle Box Pro box is follow hook to cook 805 on Instagram and there will be a post of this giveaway and then the rules will be right there. Pretty much just like and comment on that post and again follow Papa Leroy's new channel but ultimately we got him today. It was good. We knocked out like what one and a half boxes of Mystery Tackle Box. Bob so was on fire. Bob was on fire. He killed it. Getting work done just again. That's what we do. That's right, knocked out those square bills, the worms, the the creature baits. Top water. Top water. He got one on top water today. So ultimately it was definitely success. Thanks again. Shop Carl's, Catch Co, Mystery Tackle Box. Appreciate it. And somebody's gonna win this. The best recipe for carp is uh, cedar plank. Yeah. Cook it and then eat the plank. Too. You cook it. Throw the fish away and then eat the plank. Yeah. Leroy, stop complaining. <laughs> wow. Edward gave me a faulty rod. Uh huh. Oops. You're all sorts of discombobulated, Leroy. What's going on over there? Um, hey, I had a fish on. I got to get back into bass fishing. I haven't done it for a long time, but that's a nice one. See you later, buddy. <laughs> the reason why I would want it is left-handed. That's the one. There he is. Oh, I freaking cramped my my calf. Freaking cramped. Edward, I don't like you. That was funny. I know you're putting it on the clinic right now. Yeah, like three fish. But I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing it. He just wanted to show me the fish that I just missed. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Here it is, Bob. <laughs> is that Here the guy I just missed? This is the one that he just missed. Yeah. Sorry. Let's go. <laughs>